Welcome to the Trademo Show with Matthias and Sebastian. Hello, everyone. How was your weekend, Sebastian? Yeah, it was very nice. I went to a wedding of uh, yeah the very first friend I had in my life after my mom let me out for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was that was really cool to meet a lot of very good old friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was also an interesting weekend when it comes to the crypto market. Uh, we've seen an intense recovery. If we yeah. here look at the Bitcoin price, we went from three thousand to four thousand, and yeah, uh, thirty-three yeah. percent in one in one weekend. Yeah, so this is intense, and this shows what's possible in the crypto market. But it has led us to draw this Fibonacci retracement here because we are thinking that some of the more Mm, active traders they might look at this and yeah. see basically that we have seen a retracement to the 50 percent level ever since this overall correction in the bitcoin market and maybe this is or was a good opportunity for our 79 percent uh, pullback strategy so yeah, yeah. maybe we can use this in the future or this yeah. was a good take what a look at uh, tradingmo.com slash courses and then uh, look for search for the 79 percent pullback that is a very interesting strategy that might help in this situation mm -hmm. or in general not in specific this situation so maybe on non-farm payrolls ecb press conference mm -hmm. events like this this is a good strategy i think yeah absolutely okay what else happened well we we have seen a really nice breakout of the Nvidia stock, so yeah, here you are if you a huge fanboy of this stock, so maybe you can tell us more about the Nvidia story in the last days. Yeah, so basically, um, I'm following Nvidia always very closely, and there has been an analyst that upgraded the stock uh, to, um, I think it was 230 or 260 dollar price target, so 50 percent. Um, and in in any case, I remember it was a 50 percent. Um, yeah, increase in the price target. So it was at 170. So yeah, basically 200 should be 240 um, mm -hmm. that the analyst had as a price target, based on the company's leadership in the artificial intelligence market. So the analyst said that the the company cannot be, yeah, basically that that it's it's hard to compete for anybody with Nvidia in this segment, and at the same time, this is the future. Do you know when Nvidia has the next uh, earnings? So it should be in October, I think. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I don't think they have published a date yet. Mm hmm. No. But should be, should be once per quarter. Yeah. And Twenty dollars. Last time in was in August, so yeah, maybe in November. Mm hmm. Yeah, in the beginning of November. Yeah. So yeah, this is the earnings season then. Absolutely. Yeah, so very clean breakout here from the 170 level after this analyst upgrade. Um, I've been reading some traders writing that this is a no-brainer short for them now, but um, if you look down here how this stock behaved in May after a significant upgrade from <laughs> analysts, it and just it kept on. Yeah, it rallied. So yeah not a no-brainer but there will also be some people building up short positions up here for the next quarterly earnings okay good uh, and do you know which analyst this was with the, the news for a good selling points so maybe it was the, the boys from Golden sex so this is a good chance to go home now <laughs> no no it wasn't goldman um i i don't remember right now it was a less less well-known institution but um, anyways, with big impact. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at the dollar yen where you have spotted a trading opportunity. Yeah, we saw the break of the resistance level um, yeah. above 110. Yeah, yeah. and now we, we can make a, a live trade here in our demo account regarding this topic. Yeah, so we've considered um, given that we have a $1 million account here to do a five lot trade. So that is $500,000 yen mm -hmm. um, and to have a take profit at 114 and a stop loss at 110. Um, this is not a recommendation for buying or selling this instrument. This is just for educational purposes. Uh, if you do trade, then it's at your own risk. Um, 
yeah, we are going to go along here now, and you can see we've entered the take profit, the stop loss, and the the order here, and we're going to click on the buy button. And let me tell something about the resistance, support, and uh, why we take this take profit and the stop loss, because the stop loss is just below the last the recent support, so what was before resistance level becomes now support level, and it's a good spot for our stop loss. And of course, the take profit is above or near to the next uh, resistance level at one fifty, uh, near one fourteen, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's one fourteen. Yeah, exactly. So we are having this the take profit shortly underneath that resistance. And we also have a very nice risk reward ratio of two to one. Yeah. So 245 pips upwards and 154 downward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's it for today, I would say. Okay, <laughs> then see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Send us any okay. questions that you have. We are also soon going to have a guest again in the show, and your questions will be what we discuss. Send it to support at trademo.com. Okay, bye. Bye, guys.